On the Mayfly bench, time to test the power amplifier. So the power supply is wired and tested and we know that works. I've just wired up the power amplifier right now. I've got some new old stock 6V6 tubes in it and a new old stock 12AT7 in the face splitter. And nothing else in the amp is wired, but we're going to try it out and see if we can get a spark out of the output stage. Hi folks, we have the power amplifier all wired. Let's have a look. So, bias pot is wired in place. Bias is connected to here. The phase splitter is wired. The output tubes are wired. The output transformer is installed. You can see the wires from the output transformer circling around here. The uh, cathode is all wired. The various screens are wired. The input resistors are wired. And the master volume is wired. So here is the uh, plate of our face splitter. Here's the face splitter itself. And this is where the master volume comes out and goes to the power tubes. Master volume is turned up all the way. And finally, I've got this temporarily wired here into the input of the power amplifier to act to inject some, some signal. So here's our test rig. So we've got our dim bulb tester here, powering the amplifier. A single generator set at 1 kilohertz and 0.8 volts. That is being driven inside here and we're monitoring that with a scope probe. The output is tied over to our handy dummy load over here and we're also monitoring the output with the other side of the scope. The scope is over here. The yellow trace is the input which is running right now. The blue trace is the output. We have some tubes populated, the rectifier tube those new old stock 12, sorry, new old stock 6v6s and a 12AT7. Okay, let's turn on and see if we get some action. All right, so the filaments of the tubes are warming up. I'm just going to adjust the position here of these traces so we can see them a little separated from each other a little bit. In a little bit, I'm going to take it off standby and we'll see what we got. Now, the master volume is wired. Right now the master volume is turned down to zero. So when I take it off standby, I suspect we will not see anything on the blue trace. But when I turn up the master, then we'll start seeing something. It's worth noting that the um, bias supply is set to the most negative value you can get. So it's going to run cold, but this is just a test, so I don't really care. All right, so um, I think it's warmed up enough. I'm just going to flip it off standby. So we are now off standby, and I'm just going to turn up the master volume control and see what we got. Oh, we got something. Oh, yes, indeed. We have output. Oh, yeah. That is 1.4 volts, and you can see the waveform is not quite quite right. That's just the, uh, the bias. So this is through the bulb tester. So I'm going to flip it on to full voltage, and we'll see what action we get. So I'm just going to turn that down to nothing. Full voltage. Turn this up. Oh yeah, so that's a nice signal. Ooh, good and strong. Turn that down a little bit. We have outputs. I've decided to hook up the actual speaker cabinet to the output so we can have a listen. Make sure the waveform sounds clean in addition to looking clean. Here we go. Sounds good to me.